Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Goyal and I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning Broadcasting Videos Services. Today I am going to demonstrate how to create an email to cases in salesforce.com. So first of all let me explain you what is email to cases. As you can see here that any email that which is automatically converted into cases the, and it can be effectively resolve customers queries and complaints. So we can say that the salesforce.com automatically creates a case whenever any email is sent to the company's customer support email address and it auto populate cases fields from the contents of the messages. So like you can see here from the picture that the emails has been sent through multiple resources like from Microsoft Exchange, Gmail, Yahoo, open source mail servers or Lotus Domino and then it has been saved under cases into Salesforce CRM. So we are going to implement the same functionality for our organization. So let me demonstrate you how to do that. So first of all if we want to implement that we need and we need a registered login ID and password on salesforce.com so I have already registered on salesforce.com after that we need to click on setup then customize then cases under cases we have a link email to case this is our option on which we are going to work email to case click on continue edit here by default it is possible that while you are doing it first time none of the check boxes will be checked so you have to check all the check boxes first of first is enable email to case Second one is notify case owners on new emails. It means whenever any customer send an email for to the customer care, the, the owner of that organization will receive a message that there is an email in your mailbox. Then enable HTML email. Then we have to enable this enable on demand service and click on save. once we edit the options we have to set the routing address so right now there is no right no routing address has been defined so we need to define a new routing address now in my case I don't have any organization email ID so I am using my email ID as a customer care email ID so routing name I write I give a name email to case routing email address I provide my email at address sumit.goel at the rate bisptrainings.com save email header if you want then task setting create task for email so what will be the task it is in progress then the case priority case priority for email should be medium and the case origin set to email click on save it will populate a message box so we have to click on OK now you can as you can see here the routing address has been sent and we have received a message from salesforce.com that we have received the following request to change email routing address and so we have to to confirm this email routing address we have to click on this link so either you can copy this link and paste in your URL bar over here or address bar or you can directly click on this link so I click on this link and once we click on this link you can see will got a confirmation message that the routing address has been verified and click here to continue to Salesforce so when you click on that it will take you back to the salesforce.com same page over here so now what we have done we have configured or we have verified our mail but there are few more steps which we have to do is what are the steps number one 
as you can see here email service address so we copy this email service address from here I copy this email go to my Gmail or go to my company mail ID click on settings go to settings under settings you can see there is a link over here forwarding and pop IMAP so basically what I want is I want whenever any customer send any email on my on my email ID I want to redirect that email to salesforce.com and salesforce.com will read that email and save under cases so I click on forwarding and pop email now you can see here we have add forwarding address button over here so I click on add a forwarding address now what to copy here the address which we copy from here just now this email service address I again copy it and paste it here and click on next it will again provide you two buttons proceed and cancel so we have to click on if you want to proceed we'll click on proceed then it will show a message that a confirmation code has been sent to verify permission click on OK now it is waiting for confirmation code so where is the confirmation code so the confirmation code is in Salesforce so let's go back to Salesforce click on cases click on go you can see here there is a new case over here uh, so I click on this case and we have a we have a confirmation code over here you can see this confirmation code so I copy this confirmation code from here and paste into my Gmail or my company mailbox verify so now you can see a confirmation message that you have verified the forwarding address to this 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 now we are ready to check the, our application or test our application so what we can do is I'll send a mail and now let's go back to salesforce.com and see if the case has been registered or not so again click on cases ok go and you can see there is a new case register over here subject is issue which we created just now I have an issue so like this we can register our case into salesforce.com by sending an email to the customer care thanks for watching the video if you want to get more information on salesforce.com you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can send an email or you can sorry you can send an email to bispsolutions.com or you can visit bispsolutions.com for more information have a nice day thank you